profiles, well, I'm Warren, I'm from Hitachi. I'm the uh, product support consumable rep here. Uh, basically what we're going to be doing is a GET familiarisation session uh, on the new side lock system that's come on site. Um, you fellas changed the old so style teeth on the buckets. The locking mechanism between the two has not changed at all. Uh, it's mainly in the profile of the tooth and the, the adapter nose that has changed. Um, what we'll do is we'll run through, we'll pull a tooth off, um, show you a few little things to do with it when you pull the tooth off to help you um, speed things up a little bit and also aid in um, when you go to, to fit it back up to make it a lot easier. Um, and some of the other little points like the dirt plugs and stuff like that that, that really need to be replaced. Um, just visually looking at the tooth, what, what you probably can see is the tooth is, is a, a lot um, slimmer profile. That's to help with the uh, material wash over the top, help it chisel sharpen. Um, you've had one bucket here on site already working for a week and it's happening. It, I had a look at some of the teeth that come off the, that last bucket and they're chiselling nice and sharp. Um, the other thing too is what you can notice is a uh, locking tab on the side of the tooth. That's to help with the actual movement of the tooth, stop it from having this sort of movement, maybe uh, just to stop it from breaking out in the box section, that sort of thing. Do you, when, you, when you're removing a tooth, do you use a screwdriver? Yeah? <clears throat> You've got a moldy tool with a, with a corkscrew on it. If you can, get one of those. A lot easier as, you know, it's a wedge in there. So when you're, when you're putting your, your screwdriver in to lever it out, it's, it's not going straight out. You actually got to force it out. With a, with a corkscrew, you can actually just pull it straight out. Just like that. Yeah. Now I've done that a couple of times, like we've done a couple of sessions now already. That, that Plugs still fine. Now you do have two dirt plugs in there, one over the Allen key and one in that section. When you're replacing your tooth, please put them both back. Um, as if dirt compacts in that area, it will be a real tough job to, to chisel it all out or or get a needle gun in there and clean it all out just so that you can undo it. Okay. You guys would usually have a uh, rattle gun or whatever on your, in your when you're changing the tooth. Yeah? yeah. It's a little bit quicker than a than a ratchet.
Look at that. All right. The other section of the uh, the new style that has changed is the nose of the adapter. The old style did have a uh, more curved effect here. Um, what we were finding was that was the, the dirt would actually compact there and actually it hindered pulling the tooth off. Um, this new style is a lot more flatter um, and that's to alleviate that issue that we were having. Uh, these grooves on the side here, please when you're, when you're removing your tooth, pull your little inserts out and clean out that section there. Because um, if you don't and you, you leave these in here, you'll, you'll very rarely get it to line back up and do back up. Uh, it just makes it a little bit quicker and easier. Uh, if you do have an issue where these sections here, the dirt's all got in there and they've it a bit hard to pull out, what Keech have brought out now is this. It's a just a slide hammer, uh, basically. The thread in that, there, put him on, give him a bit of a pop and they'll pop out, rather than getting a screwdriver or a chisel in there and lever, levering it out. Quite, quite good. So we'll pop this back on. These things here, they don't need to be done up real tight, they only have to be sort of nipped up. The lock mechanism isn't actually there to hold the tooth to the adapter, all it does is stop it from falling off. It's not actually tightening it up. And as I said before, please put your dirt plugs back. Now, this is designed to be a uh, hammerless system, but about the only time you might need to use a hammer is just to knock in these little dirt plugs. But even there, see, I just push that one in. Hitashi have uh, introduced a toolkit for for the changing of teeth. Basically, what that's got in it is everything you need: hammer, wire, brush, uh, little crowbar, screwdriver. Um, so if you actually buy the toolkit and the slide hammer, basically that's everything you need to to change your teeth. So that, that that's about it from me. Uh, you guys got any questions or? Thank you.